Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at a problem in point estimation. Consider a sample of three observations where we have x1 is equal to 0.4, x2 is equal to 0.7 and x3 is equal to 0.9. And let's say these observations are collected from a continuous distribution with density f of x is equal to theta x raised to theta minus 1 for 0 less than x less than 1. Now, the problem is to estimate theta using maximum likelihood estimation. So, this is similar to any other distribution. So, we have looked at point estimation in standard distribution such as Gaussian, we looked at it for binomial um, and um, we also looked at um, other distributions for the homework. So this particular question gives you a specific distribution to work with, so this distribution where f of x is equal to theta x raised to theta minus 1. Now, to first proceed to the solution, to start, what we need to do is say that for f of x, when it is equal to theta x raised to theta minus 1, for f of x1 to xn, all different points sampled from that distribution, what is the joint distribution? So that is what we need to come up with first. So our first step is this, where we say f of x1 to xn. Now we have only three observations here, so n would be, easy, would be equal to 3. So 1, 2, 3 f of x1, x2, and x3. So what is the combined joint distribution? And we multiply i is equal to 1, 2, 3, theta xi raised to theta minus 1. So we first formulate this in terms of each xi. So that is the first step that we do. And now after we have done this, so this is the crucial step that we have to do. And after we have done this, everything else just follows from here. We know that when we have a product, we can make it easier when we are computing maximum likelihood by using logarithm. So we take logarithm on both sides, then we get ln of f of x1 to xn is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to 3. So the pi, the product, becomes a sum here, a summation. And the log goes inside. So ln theta xi theta minus 1, it's a product again. So it becomes ln theta plus there is a power that goes as the coefficient, right? So theta minus 1 ln xi. So from just taking logarithm, we have split this into a sum rather than a product. So now this is much easier to work with. That is why we have done this. And this is a standard trick that we use in machine learning. So if you ever encounter such a product in the question, it would be wise to use logarithm to split it like this and then it becomes easier to work with. So rest of the procedure is same. So once we have a functional form which is this, we after simplification we get something like this. So notice that there isn't any x here. So the sigma just reduces to 3 because it is ln theta times 1, right? So it is nothing but sigma i is equal to 1 to 3, 1 
times ln theta and this 1 now reduces to 3 after the summation and then you have xi here so the sigma goes inside theta minus 1 which is why we get this so after our reductions we get 3 ln theta plus theta minus 1 sigma i is equal to 1 to 3 ln xi now how do we compute the maximum likelihood we did take the derivative and solve for theta so we take the derivative set it equal to 0 and solve for theta differentiating log theta becomes 1 by theta then we get theta times sigma i is equal to 1 to 3 ln xi differentiation of theta with respect to theta is 1 so we only get this part here and then we have another minus sigma i is equal to 1 to 3 ln xi has no theta term so that becomes it's a constant with respect to theta differentiates to 0 right so i'm going to do this one more time 3 ln theta so ln theta differentiation of ln theta is 1 by theta so which is why we get 3 by theta here right now this second term this has two terms right theta times sigma i is equal to 1 to 3 ln xi minus sigma i is equal to 1 to 3 ln xi now this term has theta this term does not have theta now this this term entirely goes away because it's a constant with respect to theta and when we differentiate this becomes zero now we only are left with this term and this is linear in theta right theta raised to one when you differentiate we only get the coefficient in the differentiation so we get the coefficient which is here so now after differentiation we get this form here and we want to solve for theta so we set this differentiation is equal to zero and now solve for theta and when we take theta to the other side and make all the required adjustments we get theta to be equal to this value here now we know the individual values of xi we are given those values let's go up just to remind us what the values are the values are 0 0.4 0 0.7 and 0.9 so we know three values so we are going to substitute those values here for xi which gives us minus 3 by ln 0 0.4 plus ln 0 0.7 ln 0.9 so ln is log to the base n that's what is referred to by ln and when we solve for this we get the final value to be 2.1766 so this is the only part which would require a calculator so you can just leave the answer here in the exam and that'll be fine